Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Swizzles Great British Puds Chew Bars. These are, it says they're new, I don't know how new they are. Eleanor bought these for us. She bought them for one pound in Morrison's, which is a good deal. Uh, they're vegan, they have natural flavors. Uh, they're, uh, they have lemon meringue, apple pie and custard, rhubarb crumble, and sticky coffee pudding, which sounds wonderful. Imaginative flavors inspired by Britain's favorite puddings brought to you by Swizzles, the home of sweet inventions. Uh, two pieces are 64 calories. So, I'm just going to go for it here. Okay. So, let's see. Let's try the rhubarb first. That's going to be a pink one. Rhubarb crumble. Give me the worst one to open. Oh, did I? <laughs> yeah, I'll try to get you one that's not bent. Yeah, rhubarb. yeah. Rhubarb. You know which one I'm going to save for last. I'm going to save the sticky toffee for oh. last. Yeah. Because. I love sticky toffee. Some of these are just bent all to pieces. Yeah, but they're kind of soft. And yeah, they're, they're a chew bar. Yeah, so they are very soft. Oh, there's two two colors. Well, it's, it'll be chewing on forever. It says rhubarb crumble. Yeah, if you yeah. Oh, there we go. It's one of those toffees that get stuck in your teeth, or these uh, chews that get stuck in your teeth. That is so good, though. You're not a rhubarb person, and normally I'm not either. But mm. that's pretty good. That is so sweet. Mm -hmm. It's got a sweetness to it. And creamy. It's good. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very sweet. You it's, work at it though. It's sweet <laughs> and creamy. And I could definitely eat all of those. Honestly, I know it said rhubarb, but it tastes like there was strawberry in it. Uh, uh, usually you put blueberry, blueberry, <laughs> <laughs> strawberry and rhubarb together. Oh, well, it, it did. Or some me, kind of berry. You usually put berries and rhubarb together. To me, it tasted like there was some strawberry in there, and I, I don't know if there was or not, but that's just what it, it tasted like to me. Uh, that one, I could eat that all the time. It, for Americans, well, I guess you have Starburst over there, too. It reminded me of a pink Starburst, which is um, a strawberry. So, that, that's truly what that reminded me of. I thought it was very nice. They did not like to come out of the package. This one is the uh, apple pie and custard. That tastes like sour apple. It reminds me of a caramel apple. Here, start working on it right now. To me, that is more like a it's granny, like a granny Smith. It apple. does have a little bit of a, a uh -huh. tartness to it. Yeah, there's a tartness like you get with a granny Smith. I apple. like it though. That's a good apple. It's not. What do they call it? An apple pie. They're calling it apple pie and custard. See, uh, to me, it's see, not an apple sweet. pie here um, has cinnamon and stuff in yes. it that that does not have. Yeah. So apple pie, you would put you would put uh, a lot of cinnamon and sugar in the middle with all those juices, uh, and I mean all the juices would form when you bake it. Whereas that just tastes like apple. Mm -hmm. This is lemon meringue. Mm -hmm. Here, see, that's nice lemon flavor. That mm, good. Mm -hmm. That tastes like the perfect lemon dessert. It's very. It has the lemon. They didn't. Uh, they didn't go over too far, uh, like a cleaner. But it also has a creaminess to it, just like the. The rhubarb had a creaminess to it. That lemon has a creaminess to it as well. So that is delicious. Mm -hmm. I really like it a lot. And lastly, we have the sticky toffee pudding. That has a different texture. Mm, softer. Mm -hmm. It's got that burnt caramel, mm -hmm. scorched caramel kind of flavor. It's good. It's not my favorite, but it's good. 
Not my favorite either, but I really like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It does taste. Like it does have a scorched, not in a bad way, yeah. but a, a sweet scorched flavor, mm -hmm. a caramely flavor. It tastes like molasses. A little bit. It's not quite as dark as molasses, mm -hmm. but yeah, it, it's. It does. Mine, it does kind of I, it reminds me of molasses. Uh, my favorite. I I have my top two, and it's not one of them. Okay. My top two are the rhubarb and the lemon. I like the lemon and the apple. Yeah. So, and it's, it's hard to, I've, I really thought the sticky toffee would be uh, my number one, but Well, no. it's kind of a, it's not a burst you, of flavor like you get with the other ones. It's a good flavor, but it's just not it's that good, really it's, strong, sharp flavors like you get in the other ones. Yeah. Well, and it's, it's very molasses. It's just, it's just, and the apple for me, I would rather not have that tart yeah, Granny Smith like, apple. I like that flavor. Uh, but now... The, the rhubarb, is really the good rhubarb too, and the lemon, those are the sweetest ones in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> so, of course, that's what I'm going to pick. Well, they're more, the rhubarb is more berry flavored than It really is. It does taste like strawberry. So, I we we like these. I would get these again. Yeah, I think they're, they're very, delicious. Very if you like airheads or anything like that, these are similar. Yes. That, that's what, or the, even the texture of a, a Starburst, yeah. even. This, that's what this is going to remind you of. Uh, so, if you've had these, let us know which one was your favorite. Out of, if I had to pick one flavor out of the bag, I'm going to pick the rhubarb. I'd probably pick the lemon. Okay, there you go. So let us know which uh, one is your favorite if you've had these. Uh, thank you again to Eleanor for sending them to us and thanks for watching.